We're going to show you how to uh, weld some chrome molly tubing. We're going to do it on a, a roll cage for a race car. Uh, this is an inch and five eighths. So we're going to show you how to do a saddle and then how to mark a saddle up and cut it. We're going to use the DHC 2000 torch to make the cuts and do the welding. Go ahead. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to show you how to create this saddle so it makes it easy with using your torch to cut this out and uh, put a couple of bars together. So when I get done, I'm going to be saddling this just like this, tacking it on and welding it up. So let me show you real quick an easy way of doing this. What you're going to do is, I put a little crosshairs across my tube. And then I'm going to go ahead and take a tape measure or a steel ruler and I'm actually going to measure up a half an inch and I'm going to put a marking here. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side here. And then I'm going to draw a basically a 45 degree line right down to the point on each side. And this will give me almost an exact saddle. I'll go to the grinder and just touch it up. But let's go ahead and make a cut on these two lines here and see how it turns out. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to light up our DHC 2000. I've got the overcutter on with my number one tip and my .5 on the bottom for heating. This is point, um, .083 thickness 083. We don't need much heat, but just enough to make a nice clean cut and drop that out. So let's go ahead and make that cut. I like my tips nice and close. You're allowed to bend that right in there. As long as the two, the one tip's not crossing the flame, you're in good shape. So let's go ahead and cut this out. I always use the soapstone because the heat does not take the marking away. Get them, just follow the lines right down to the half inch mark. All right, let's get the other side. Alright, let's take a look at it real quick. We're close. What we're going to do is take it over to the grinder and we'll just clean it up a little bit and we'll be ready to go. And that'll be our saddle. Okay, we just come back from the grinder to fit this. Didn't take much, but we've got a nice clean fit. I'm going to go ahead and tack this together now. What I've done is taken the overcutter off of our DHC 2000 and I put my number two tip on for welding. So let's go ahead and do some uh, tacking and then we'll weld this up for you. I've got some 1 16th inch uh, steel TIG wire, the ER70-6. Works good on the chrome molly tubing, it's a soft. We're going to tack in a couple spots here so it doesn't move on us. I'm going to concentrate most of my heat on the uh, solid round, round tube on the bottom because my thin uh, uh, tube on top is going to melt first. So we're going to get that going. Turn that down just a little bit. It's a pretty hot, precise flame coming out of this torch. Let's 
switch over to a little bit heavier rod. Again, I'm concentrating on the very bottom round full tube and not the end cut because that's going to melt faster. Let's turn it over and let's do another weld on this side here. Let's knock the chill out of it here and let's just start welding up again. Because it's 083 in thickness, it's lighter and white and it can be used as your roll bar or your roll cage material. If you're using standard cold roll steel pipe, you have to go a thicker wall to get the strength and obviously you gain weight. side we're all set. Don't forget your torch has an annealing effect that actually softens the weld as we're welding it up. All right, there's our weld. Let's take a look at this. Got a nice clean weld all the way around, full penetration. As you can see right there, so now we're going to go ahead and cut this up. We're going to cut it in half and take a look at the penetration.